everyone, this is Nicole Ruff. I'm your beauty stylist in Jacksonville, Florida. I am going to show you some beauty tools to get you the perfect curls. So right now, I'm going to be taking down my hair a little bit, finishing the blow dry, and then I'll finish it with some curls. This product is our Dyson blow dryer. To help the longevity of your blow dryer, you're always going to take off the filter. They make it super easy and just brush off any lint. That's just gonna help maintain the motor so it doesn't have to work as hard. And you get to keep your wonderful blow dryer longer. You have a few settings on here. Go ahead and play around with them, turn it on. You have three heat settings. You can take the heat completely off. Um, and you also have, you can turn it on and off. Oh my God, it's doing so well. <laughs> so you also have three different pressures of the blow. And your cool blast. So I'm gonna go ahead and take down my hair. Just a couple of pins. So, when I first got this haircut done, it was a lot shorter before the quarantine. And I, um, it was more like a chic mullet. So I have like a lot of these choppy layers, which I love because I have really thick hair and it just keeps it from getting too big. Um, so, First, we'll take the hot toddy because it is about dry, just closer to my roots. It's a little bit wet. And when I do this, I'm just going to focus on my ends because I'm not going to be really hitting my roots with this blow dryer. I mean, a little bit, I guess, for some volume. I'm going to make sure my ends are dry. So, see? Super nonchalant. Super easy. You're not at the salon. You're home. Okay, so when I just blow dry my hair, I just do everything basically with my fingers. I like to do it, I like to do it with my fingers as well because then I can see what actually still needs to be a little bit dry. If I'm getting it sleek and not frizzy, that's not a big concern of mine. My main focus right now is just to dry it and dry it fast because I'm trying to get out the door. So, that's why we did the prep, the pep rally, or the hot toddy. We did the hot toddy because this one goes on dry hair. The other one goes on wet. Um, and it's just a heat protecting mist, so you can go through and go through fast with some high heat. dry. Feels good. I got some volume. Keeps you young. Alright. So our blow dryer is done. We're done with that. I'm going to turn this on. It's nice. The three day bender because you clip it in and you'll see you'll just twist right through. So simple. We're going to turn it on. I'm going to turn it fairly hot because I'm trying to get in and get out. So, and look how fast it heats up. Let me see. Ting, 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 ting. So that was my bank account going up. Ting, ting, ting. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna let that heat up. When I do that, so I'm just gonna, sometimes I just flip flop my hair and I'll curl this side and then I'll flip this and I'll curl this side and then I'll curl the top. But right now, I guess I'll just twist my top portion up like this, and I'm gonna stick a bobby pin in it. Super casual. This is why this hair, this is why this hairstyle, you ever see those girls with half their hair up in a bun? Just feel like they didn't have time to finish their hair. I think it's cute on some people, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, she didn't have time. <laughs> so, oh, and I'm super hot from that blow dryer. So my hair's sticking to me. All right, so I, and then I just split it right down the middle and in half. And then depending on, you know, how much of a look I'm trying to do, I just go right in. Right, I'm going to show you. So I take out a pretty big chunk of that bottom layer. Maybe I split that bottom layer in half. I don't know. Like, look. My hair. I don't really care too much about this layer. People aren't really going to see it. And then I flip it. And then watch. Just done. It's 
so simple and you can roll up the rest. If you do, when you put this in and you hold it, put it in halfway, you can go ahead and look at her pretty curl. We're gonna do a little bit better with a knot. in the middle start flipping it around and twirl it up to the roots and then you can slowly focus on the ends and they're drier they don't need as much heat for as long they curl faster it's the conditioned healthier hair closer to the roots that have a harder time holding that hair it's the pressure being healthy see and then sometimes I'll go through and I'll pull those two curls together. And now I'm going to work from the back and go forward. So now I'm just going to pull a slice from the back right into the middle. So, you know, that works with that kind of tappity tap tap, you know, that old school tap. The more you curl your hair, the faster you get to know it, the faster your whole thing will be. So again, I'm just kind of doing a basic, really fast curl because I'm just putting some clean, cute bend into it. I'm not too concerned about anything being, you know, this is not bridal ready. This is like ready and cute for the day. Putting forth some effort. And if you make focus, make your brows there. I'm not holding it there for long. It usually stays about moving. And by the time I get it to the end, I might hold it for a little bit. But by the time I switch it all the way to the end, those ends are only getting a few seconds of heat. It's the roots that need it more, man. But it's okay, they don't all have to be the same. That's what it makes it look so good. We didn't try so hard. Because we did This one didn't clamp that tight, but that's fine. We're going to write it. Beautiful, see? I'm just twisting this every time. Now I do the same technique with a regular curling iron as well. I'm just twisting it in there. Stronger together. Now this way, and by the way, I'm always curling away from my face. Just feel like it makes my face thinner. And if you were my mother on here, you'd be like, when does your face need to be thinner? You're perfect. Oh, and sometimes I do like a little bit of an angle too. So see that with the angle? It's like riding a bike. The more you do it, the better you'll get. Soon you'll be popping lilies. But you just twist it. It's so easy. You know, rolling your wrist. It's the little things that matter, you know. 
And I'm not worried about if every curl's correct or similar. You can go back there and curl more. Curling is like one of the most forgiving things for the hair. Side shine mist. Oh, what do we have? Sparkling soda. Some of my favorite stuff. So remember, we're curling away from the face. So I put the put the clamp towards me and curl away from the face. See that? Curling away. Well, this is gonna have a lot in there, so I'm gonna do a couple turns. Now this piece matters a little bit more just because it's closer to the face. See that? Okay. Twist it all together. Hold its curl in there. Got some curls. All right, now we're just gonna take out that little bobby pin or two, whatever I put in. And now we gotta deal with this, this top back. So I'm gonna start from the back. I'm just gonna grab this piece real nonchalant. Nothing professional being done here. This is everybody could do this at home. We're not going to school. And really, it doesn't even matter. They're not going to see your technique. They're just going to see the outcome. And they're like, oh, your hair looks so good. Look at those curls. What curling iron did you use? It's like the three-day vendor. Dry shampoo, you have curls for days. Do a cute updo with some curls, half up. Like when my hair is in a bun, that's when you know it is dirty. So I haven't really picked what side I was going to part my hair on. I like to curl my hair so I can put it in the middle. I can do it on the side. So I flip my hair back and forth like this a lot. Like I'll do this and then I'll talk and I do this. Somebody told me I look much younger when my hair is parted in the middle for so for a while. I was just parting it in the middle being young. All right. So now I want to like focus around the frame of my face. So this hasn't been done obviously. So let's just do it from the middle. Yeah, let's just do it from the middle. And you can always flip it over to whatever side you want. But kind of just get your natural part in there. Real nonchalant. <laughs> do you want to just get it out of your face? All right, so now I'm just going to look to see where we need a little bit more. We need it here. Try to get closer to the group. I'm just going to spin it. Now, see, I'm going to hold it. I don't need a lot of heat there, remember? So I'm just going to kind of twist it in. Let it sit. And I'm not going to touch that curl. You also don't really want to touch the curls too much till they cool, depending on, you know, the look that you're going for. If you want a lot of curl for a long time, you're going to want it to cool in there. Now, if you're just going for a soft wave, you can curl your hair and pull it through, and you'll just have that soft wave. But the more you touch it and move it while it's cooling, the less structured curl you're going to have. Now, what do I got going on? Look at this straight piece. There's always one. So see that straight piece? What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some together with you, and I'm just going to push it through real fast. Try to give it some body there. That's how you get body. <laughs> Got to motivate these strands.
clothes aren't aligned in any ways. They just know that it's bouncy, curly, shiny, and pretty. Bouncy, curly, shiny, pretty. Hold it. Remember, you don't want to hold the ends on there too long. Ends aren't as healthy. Old and dried out, man. But that's okay. Sometimes I feel like the most damaged hair holds that curl the best and the longest. All right, so then I'll do it for the other side too. I'm like, okay, what's this side looking like if I flip it? You know, because you got to explore all avenues. Know what your day's gonna get into. Young, wild, free, healthy. All right, so now let's just put in some styling products. Hit the off button. All right. Since we just washed the hair this morning, I'm not going to use triple sec. But say you didn't and you're just refreshing and putting in some curls, triple sec's amazing. It's going to give you some amplified hair. It's going to refresh in the smell, the look, a little bit of texture. So, you know what we should do? We should just do like, like this. Let's do Money Maker. It's a flexible hold. Um, it's nice because I, when my hair's down, my hands are going in it. So, I'm just going to, once again, part in the middle. And then I do one of these numbers. I do a little pump. And I do a little of that. So, then... Oh, I like to hit that end. I guess I could get up here, just mess with the volume a little bit. Oh my god, that's so nice. Oh, am I? Who am I? I'm your beauty stylist, Jacksonville, seventy. All right, let's do this. my favorite, 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 favorite sparkling soda. Just gives your hair such pretty shine. Cool, your hair's already so shiny, I know, but it can be shinier. Now you do it over the hairspray. I just think it's prettier that way. Really, if I had my way, I'd have another layer in here, but that's another show. Thanks for hanging out. So once again, our products that we went through, we did the Dyson blow dryer. Super easy to use. Magnetic clips. You can't go wrong. It's good for your hair. You don't have to use the high heat. It still dries it fast with the element of the blow. Like you can make it go high, make it go low. You can do a cool blush and take the heat off of it and just give it some sleek shine it does that with cool air I just use the sparkling soda and then of course we did the 3-day bender by dry bar amazing the only place else you can get this is I'm not gonna tell you you can get it in our shrimp dry bar all right and we have the sparkling soda the money maker triple sack if our hair wasn't clean this morning and hot toddy to protect from the heat because he helps me use the heat. We brought the heat today. It was nice. Not your hair. Thank you for playing. Thank you for staying.
great day.